Indeed, and on a day like today with a lot of cloud cover, why not do a little dancing indoors as we look ahead to the rest of the week to see how it's shaping up with Jacqueline Sher. Yeah, you know, temperatures are going to be looking a lot nicer soon. We're in that season where temperatures really always just feel like a roller coaster. So for today and for tomorrow, we're hovering right around 50 degrees. But by Wednesday and Thursday, we're back into the mid 60s, which is even a touch warmer than we should be. So that'll be nice. However, we really won't get to enjoy all that much of it because uh, we also got some significant rain chances. Late tonight, we watch as the system moves into our area. It rains on us through most of the day on Tuesday heaviest rain in the morning and then some scattered showers into the afternoon. Wednesday, a pretty similar setup, but because of those warmer temperatures, we're actually concerned about thunderstorms returning to the area. So here's what we're seeing. Overnight, we start to see that rain pick up throughout the region, and then by 10 a.m., we're looking at some pretty widespread rain. I know you see that pink on your screen. I wouldn't be concerned about that. The only areas that I'm concerned about seeing any kind of maybe even freezing rain will be our highest elevations, most likely just the highest elevations in Virginia. So we're not super concerning there. We're mostly looking at rain as we go through your Tuesday. By the afternoon, the showers start to lighten up slightly, and then we'll get a clear evening and start of your Wednesday, but then by late Wednesday, pretty similar timing to the system rolling in tonight, we watch as another one moves through. Now this one though is different because again it's warmer and as we're watching the main line move through right around lunchtime on Thursday, of course timing still to be determined this far out, but right now let's look at like about uh, right about lunchtime, we see those lines of storms that develop and stay pretty organized and that means that we do have the threat of seeing some thunderstorms. After that, a few more scattered showers into the weekend and then potentially some clearer days. But here's a look at the severe storm threat for Wednesday. And again, this for us is primarily late Wednesday as we watch that system that moves through Wednesday night through Thursday. We're in that thunderstorm category, but you see what's just to the west of us and what's traveling with that storm is an enhanced chance for some severe weather. So that will definitely be something that we'll have to keep monitoring and you'll need to stay up to date on because Thursday is likely to be a day that you want to stay weather aware. The good side of all of this rain, of course, is that our pollen is finally going down. Tree pollen has been such an issue for some time now. It feels like weeks. Saturday and Sunday it was high. Today it's medium, though, and by tomorrow it'll actually be low. So here's a look at your day forecast. Temperature is right around 50 degrees, 51 for the high in most spots, with that shower chance starting late tonight and increasing into tomorrow morning. Foothills right around 50 degrees as well. 20% chance for rain at 9 and a 70% chance at 6 a.m. And in the mountains in the mid 40s there with those rain chances as we go into tonight. Here's your seven day forecast. It is a messy one, but it looks like we'll clear out and see some mild temperatures for the weekend.